Yeah, look, it's absolutely unbelievable. I think sort of five, six years ago, would I ever think I'd be a full-time professional cricketer? No. Um, and to get the opportunity here, sort of my homegrown club, if you like, and yeah, after a pretty cool summer for me, um, it was the icing on the case when I got that call. Yeah, look, I, for me, I'm finishing my physiotherapy apprenticeship. Um, which I can officially leave my role in May. Um, I will be keeping up physio sort of alongside my professional career as that's important to me, but I'll be reducing my hours significantly. Um, and obviously now full-time contract here means I can focus solely on my cricket, have more opportunity to train when I'm fresh rather than rushing from work in the evening after a stressful day. Um, yeah, so it should be, should be good and hopefully I get the rewards from that on the pitch. Yeah, look, hopefully this summer I'm going to get more opportunity to do the commentary stuff. I think I've spoken to Kevin James already and I'm hoping to do a mixture of the Hampshire men's stuff across all formats again and some of the test match special stuff as well. Hopefully get involved in the women's ashes commentary um, and obviously not having that NHS role will, will help um, me have the opportunity to do that. And yeah, from a physio point of view, as I said, I will keep it on. And what that looks like, I sort of haven't worked out yet whether I'll be working sort of on the NHS and bank or trying to get some hours in the boys' pathway maybe over here. Um, I'll try and figure that out nearer the time. But yeah, at the moment, just really excited and can't wait to get that qualification. I'm all signed off for physio and then, yeah, focus solely on my cricket. Yeah, look, I think my season, I guess, is a season of two halves. I had the disappointment at the start of the summer, not being selected in the Charlotte Edwards Cup side. The Vipers here is very strong, the strength and depth we had. Um, and I felt like I had to really work hard for my place. But then when I got that opportunity, I wanted to grab it with both hands. And in that game, I think I played the best that I've ever played and probably was the best that I played all summer. Um, and then from that, obviously, you're full of confidence and I try to take every opportunity that come. And it, it was my year, I was in form. Um, hopefully I can carry that on to next year, but I've got, still got a lot to work on this winter and, and moving forward and I'm excited to see where my game will go. Yeah, so I had hip surgery two days after the final at Lord's. Um, I was sort of managing my injury throughout the summer. Um, and then, yeah, rehab's going along nicely at the moment. Hopefully in the, well, in the new year I'll be back in the nets properly, hitting balls, um, but working hard on my rehab at the moment. Um, it's actually good because it allows me to focus on, I guess, weaknesses physically because I've got the time to do that at the moment and hopefully I'll be stronger, um, fitter and better when it comes to, to next summer. Um, but yeah, just looking forward to the group being back in. We're back in today, so nice to see everyone um, and some new faces as well. Rihanna has herself be here for the first time, so yeah, it'd be good to get to know her and, and move forward as a squad.